Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sedona International Film Festival. We are in our 30th year. I'm Tanya June Moore. Huge shout out to everyone that makes this festival possible. I'm moving through this little intro because I have two of my favorite people in the seat. I'm a little verklept, I'm not going to lie, because seeing them again, we were just talking off screen that the last time they were here was in 2020. Yeah. And we know what happened right after 2020. And all those memories popped up on my photo feed uh, this morning. And it was just wonderful to see all of us there, all happy and fresh <laughs> before the world <laughs> changed. Right. Uh, and I'm just glad to see you back and see you making films. I've been following what you guys have been creating this whole time. Please introduce yourselves and the film. Of course. Great. Uh, my name is Miguel Angel Caballero, and I'm the co-writer and director of The Ballad of Tita and the Machines. Uh, and I'm Luis Antonio Aldana, co-writer uh, and also actor uh, of The Ballad of Tita and the Machines. <laughs> Your role in this is just killer, by the way. <laughs> and this is also why you will never, ever hear me try to introduce people. <laughs> Did you hear how lovely <laughs> their accents are? I would have butchered the whole thing. So before we get into actually talking about this film, which I really enjoyed, I, your first film, though, has really got my heart. Uh, let's show the trailer to get everybody caught up and sharing the story with us. Mrs. Perez. My name is Bob from Halley Laboratories. You are a field worker, yes? Yes. Please place your phone online to authorize employment substitution. An updated model will be able to fulfill your job's requirements. Well, at least this one looks Mexican. Y'all are always so clever. <laughs> I mean, really. And I love, I mean, how you really get into showing some Mexican culture. And we can talk about it very, very, very openly and truly shine a light on what really happens out there in the world. Uh, and you're Mr. Robot out yeah, there. Robert's giving a little uh, Elon Musk. You think? <laughs> Ding. Did you mean that? Because I, that's what I picked up on. Was that yeah, when you modeled I mean, this character after? I mean, yeah, I guess subconsciously maybe. There was a little bit of that for sure. Yes. I mean, that was exactly who popped into my mind. I was like, ooh, you that's must have been watching funny. some Elon footage. Um, so let's talk about what this film is really about. Sure. Sure, yeah. This, this film was actually inspired um, sort of an, an homage to my mom who actually worked the fields. Mm. Um, and what Luis and I really wanted to do is we wanted to shine a light on our essential labor, uh, working class heroes that, you know, are often rendered invisible in this country, uh, yes. but they're responsible to bringing food to our tables, to cleaning our houses, and they're not acknowledged. So we wanted to do that and, and you know, Luis is a really big uh, sci-fi nerd and it was his idea of kind of like combining the field and I'll let you Yeah, play. I mean, it, I just I just think, you know, um, it was, uh, you know, I think the topic is so sort of just intrinsically dramatic and, and heavy, you know, and, and, and Miguel and I thought that, that using, you know, the sci-fi genre to tell this specific story would sort of lighten it and, and sort of allow us to, to, to infuse it with humor and absurdity and, and I think it worked. It really worked. And not only did it work, but it was a, an incredible commentary that didn't really take sides on either side, but. right? Um, there, uh, one of my favorite movies about AI is I'm Your Man, and I don't know if you've ever seen right, it. Right. It was here yeah, many, yeah. many years mm -hmm. ago. Uh, and it is a very positive. But you didn't have, it wasn't negative. It wasn't positive. It was just beautiful almost journalistic commentary told mm. through a vision of sci-fi. Uh, where did you get the actors from, especially the main actress, who yeah, is phenomenal? Loud about that Her face. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there was a moment that I just went, pause, and she's like... <laughs> Where did you find her? Is yeah. she some? Is she, did we, she audition? We had we had a casting director that helped us, but most of the folks that are in the film, Luis and I come from theater backgrounds, so so we have a lot of friends that actually are theater actors. So every single person in the film 
we knew and we had worked with before, except for Tita and also Bob AI, who plays the first oh. AI. Yeah. So them, um, our casting director, Alan Luna, was really helpful in getting us. And interesting story of, of Tita, you know, when, when I went to meet her, she, she's a recurring on she Hulu's, was, yeah. was a recurring on Hulu, uh, this full on Hulu. Um, I actually, I've a series it. regular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So series initially, regular. like, when I met her, I was, you know, looking forward to meet her, but but I was like, I, she might be wrong for the part because she's she plays a really mean mom in that show. <laughs> So I met her and she was absolutely lovely and she was so warm and genuine. And I'm like, oh my God, this is Tita. And, and this she, is Tita. what a great actor. Oh it's, yeah, She's an absolutely. incredible right? actor. I mean, she just proved it right there. You, yeah. You're over here like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. and, but I mean, I all I got was warmth off of yeah. her mm -hmm. and also a lot of disbelief. Right. So the uh, work with the AIs and, and the CGI or whatever, who, whose idea? Who did it? Uh, it was. It was. Well, you tell them. Well, we yeah. we we wrote the collectively, and then in terms of like when we were writing, we there was an understanding that we were going to use somebody like the AIs had to be especially Bob AI, the main main AI. Yes. Somebody that really controlled his body and was preferably a dancer. Like I knew that like you know we couldn't afford like your typical CGI or big AIs, but. Also, I didn't want that. I felt like it, it was a little more grounding. So when we met with Nico, it turns out that he also had a dance background and it just worked out perfectly. And, and also when we met him, we had written initially the, the scene with him responding to, to, to the worker when she says, you better be caref careful, you're not gonna last. Responding in English, but then Luis and I thought, like, you know what, it doesn't make sense because it's an AI, it would speak Spanish. So we wrote it in the Spanish, languages, you know and what we mean? thought, yes. where are we going to find a, 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 a Caucasian, yeah. white-presenting person with blue eyes who actually speaks perfect Spanish? And then we would meet Nico, and Luis and I were at the meeting, and we're talking, <laughs> and then he says this phrase in Spanish. He's like, oh, como mi abuelo en la finca. I'm like, how the heck do you speak Spanish? It turns out he's half Colombian and half British. Yeah. And he was a dancer and spoke Spanish. And for us, it was like, this is a jackpot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is Sedona synchronicity, <laughs> yeah. like wrapped up in a big blanket for you and said, here's a bow and it's really soft, have this. Exactly. And I don't want to give anything away and we're going to quickly talk about where you're going to show screen, but I think my favorite scene in the whole movie is when Tita and the other three characters are waiting to be scanned by you. <laughs> scanned and probed. And they're t yes, <laughs> and they're talking about what the AIs couldn't do. I I a belly laughed. They could climb a ladder. I, I don't know. You know, all the bleach burned its eyeballs out. I was just like, who is thinking of these lines? Who? Whose brevity was that? Yeah, too. I mean, uh, yeah, you know, uh, again, you know, like uh, Miguel's parents were, were field workers. My mom uh, cleaned homes in the West Side in Los Angeles. So, you know, it was, it was sort of a, a little homage to my mother as well, you know, the, the, the cleaning lady uh, sitting to the, to the right of Tita, yes. you know, that she explains, hey, you know, the, the bleach that I use melted their eyes out, you know, so they're not <laughs> able to do the work either. So it was just, again, you know, we're taking from our lived experiences and, and, you know, putting our stories on screen, and I think I think people are really responding to that. I agree. And, I, and have you screened here yet? We have not. We screened no, no. tonight. Are tonight. What, seven what, p.m. Oh, it's seven p.m. Yes. Which, are you uh, in a shorts block or before? Shorts block six. Yeah. Okay, block so we have our first shorts block six. Uh, you've seen these two handsome gentlemen before, <laughs> and are and we love having you back. Rare, and I also <laughs> mean creative because you are very creative. And I'm, I can't wait to talk to you after your reception of this one. Yeah. Thank you. Because really you saying. actually took home an award with we the last did. one. Yes, yes, we did. We, we had an award with this. the last film. Yeah. So yeah. I have a little heart space that I'm, I'm sending some love to you guys for this one because it's, oh, it's oh, very sure. good. It's Thank very you. good, Thank and you. I want to get that feedback. Where can they keep up with this film? We do have a website. It is titamovie.com. Okay. T-I-T-A movie.com. Yeah. And then you have an Instagram feed, I know, because I follow and it. And we have Instagram, and it's the same, titamovie.com. Yes. So come on out. If you haven't got your tickets, get in the rush line. The shorts <laughs> blocks are always, for me, the best, but this one is definitely worth seeing. 
and you'll get to have some Q&A with these two guys and listen to them and their beautiful accents speak. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and if you're out there sharing our content, and please share our content. It helps the filmmakers. It helps the festival. Uh, and it helps us bring more incredible films to you every year and bring filmmakers like this back again. Uh, our hashtag this year is SIF30. Use it everywhere. Put it everywhere. And I will see you in just a few minutes with another film. Thank you very much. Thank you. Of course.